Hey guys, I'm going to quickly show you how you can add captions to any stream using OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Um, this should also work inside other broadcasting platforms that also allow for window capture. You will require a Google Chrome web browser, a microphone, and a broadcasting software of your choice. Um, so firstly, you will need to open the web-based caption system. Um, it's called webcaptioner.com. It doesn't work on any other browsers except for Google Chrome because it likely requires some framework Google has set up. You can adjust your privacy settings inside Google Chrome though to provide the safe ex sorry, safest experience for yourself. Um, if you only plan to use Google Chrome for web captioning software, it's very helpful to set up Web Captioner as your home page and by default you can have captioning turned on. This way, it is only one click to open captions while you're setting up your stream for the day. Um, I won't give uh, steps for how to install Google Chrome, um, but I can show you how I have mine set up if it helps. So this is my Google Chrome window. Um, I have Web Captioner as a home page. Um, so normally when I open a new instance of Google Chrome, it opens directly into Web Captioner. But I'm going to show you how it works on a new browser, um, just, just to show you. Okay, so I can show you my settings inside Web Captioner, and maybe that will help you understand. So if you don't want um, Web Captioner to predict um, swear words or maybe inappropriate language, you can turn these things off to help keep your stream more PG, and it will just show as asterisk asterisks sorry nobody can pronounce that word um, it'll just show as asterisks on the screen instead of swearing um, so for appearance this is how I have mine set up you can change it at any time um, I recommend putting a green screen for your background so going here setting green all the way to the max um, so 255 in this or you can just find a green and drag it to the top um, because this will allow you to chroma key it out inside Streamlabs. So I'll show you how to make yours look pretty. Okay, so once you're back inside Streamlabs, you want to add a new source to your scene. Okay, click this little plus button here. It may be different for the software you choose. Um, you would you would just need to make sure that it is a window capture and not a browser source. So click over here where it says window capture and not browser source. Browser source is something completely different to read a static web page and captioning inside web captioner is client side. So it's not something the public is able to view or access like a public browser source. Um, it would be a safety issue if it wasn't. So regardless, please just select window capture here and click on add source. I've already um, set up captions for my stream, so I'm going to ignore this and create a new source to show you how to set it up. So add a new source instead. Be sure to label this because you don't want to accidentally delete it when you're cleaning up your scenes later. So I'm going to label this web captioner and click on add source. Okay, so this just picks up any open window right now. Um, you want to select the web captioner Google Chrome um, uh, here I think it's this one yes this is the new one that I've added okay once you've added it as a source um, you want to make sure that you set up for window match priority um, that your window it must match title so you don't want it to try to find any other open windows that you have on your PC you may have private information or convos with friends that you don't want recorded. So make sure that the window match priority is window title must match and that you've selected web captioner Google Chrome chrome.exe as your window. So click on done and you can see that you have the source inside OBS but it looks like this and it doesn't look like this. So you have to do a few things. Um, firstly you can press and hold alt on your keyboard so press and hold alt and click at the bottom of this green bar and you can drag it up so that you can get rid of the borders from the window so the top where your tabs are and the bottom where it says that you're captioning 
because you don't want these things to show up on your stream. We want to clean it up as nice as we can. Um, you also want to tap and hold alt again and do the same thing to the top. So now we have a green box with our text on it. Sorry about that. I messed up my last take and I had to redo it. So this is what we have right now is a green box that we can't really do anything with. Um, but you want it to have a transparent background and to do that we need to add filters to this window capture. So right click on the new web captioner that you've added um, and click on filters. Now I'll move this so you can see this time. <laughs> you want to click the plus button to add a new filter and we want to go all the way to the bottom and select chroma key. And what chroma key does if you look up um, it created all of the green pixels that it detected by default um, into transparent pixels instead. So you can adjust this to suit your liking if you prefer higher contrast to have the shadows or if you want them gone. Um, it's, it's completely up to you and your personal preferences how you would set up inside Web Captioner and with your filters. I'll show you the one that I have um, by default for my other captions. Oops. So here's the settings that I have for my web captioner. Similarity at 64, smoothness at 265, contrast at 0.16, brightness and gamma both at zero. Um, you can leave you can leave it by default if you aren't really sure how to do it, but I recommend just sliding the bars around until you find what looks good for you and your overlays. Um, this is basically it. Uh, one final tip that I'd like to mention is Google Chrome will save your window size and position. So if you only use Google Chrome for Web Captioner, um, the next time you launch it, it will remember that size um, and you won't have to do any editing inside Streamlabs um, to resize windows. But if you do use Google Chrome for other things, you will have to resize the window every time that you would like to use captions. Um, a workaround is um, to just leave the web captioner window open um, and make it the last uh, thing that you close when you're finished using Google Chrome. Um, you can also, uh, just one other thing to mention, um, you also cannot minimize the window. Uh, here, watch as I minimize this window and you can see what happens. The captions disappear because it needs to be on the screen in order to read what's on the window. So a way you can get around this is to drag it down to the very, very bottom of your screen and kind of hide it. Um, and then if you have other programs over top of it, it will still read what's in the window. Um, something else to mention too is if you put your mouse over top of the caption window, it shows up. So moving it to the bottom will help prevent that type of... Uh, sneaky mouse showing on screen. <laughs> uh, this is all I can really think of for tips. Um, I'll leave links to Web Captioner, Google Chrome, um, and Streamlabs OBS in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope this helps you bring more accessibility to your streams.